Obviously, Tom, this comes as just such a shock. I mean, how devastated is the baseball community over the loss of Roy Halladay? Yeah, I mean, listen, anybody who dies this young, there's going to be devastation, heartbreak, and certainly that's the case. But I, I, I think it's really amplified here because of the kind of person and teammate he was. I mean, you heard a lot of players echoing the thought that this guy was my favorite teammate. You couldn't help but like being in his company. He worked so hard. He was so humble. Uh, I like to say in my years covering baseball, I can't recall anybody who combined this ferocity of greatness. I mean, he was the best pitcher during his peak uh, with uh, a real sense of genuine humility. I mean, he didn't want the attention, the trappings that came with Bain. He just went out there and did what he did, pitching and especially throwing strikes better than anybody in baseball. So anybody who was around him, competed against him, I think, uh, had their hearts broken yesterday with the news. He'll be remembered for his humility. What is the mark that Halliday leaves on baseball, though? Well, I think he changed pitching, actually, in the way that he actually changed himself. Remember, he had struggled early on as a young pitcher as an overhand fastball curveball guy and had to go all the way down to Class A. A ball to really reinvent the way he threw, and he turned into a low three quarters delivery sinker ball cutter. And the sinker cutter combination to me is something that really changed the game. His ability to throw two pitches that were very similar in terms of spin and velocity, but as they came to the plate, one would break left, one would break right. It created something that hitters hadn't seen before, not at that velocity, and certainly not with his command. And there were a lot of pitchers who then tried to use that as a template. Now, to me, nobody was an expert at doing that as Roy Halladay was. He was, he was the best at it. But it, it did cause a lot of pitchers then to adapt the two-seam cutter combination to move the ball two different ways, uh, sort of a scissor effect with pitches. So I think in that regard, his work ethic, certainly anybody who was around him kind of picked up on that. You, you learned just by watching the way he went about his business. So I, I do think during a period now where, let's face it, bullpenning and relief pitching has taken over the game, I'm not sure we'll ever see a pitcher like Roy Halladay again. I mean, he has more complete games than anybody who's been born in the last 50 years. And I dare say it'll be a long time before we see anybody else get near his 63 complete games. He is such a talent. He retired after the 2013 season, which means he would be eligible for the Hall of Fame in 2019. Tom, it would be an emotional induction whenever it happens. But should voters just put him in immediately? Well, I think so. Now, based on the rules of the Hall of Fame, um, I don't think he will be eligible until next year's ballot. I mean, the ballot that will go out in – actually, it's going to go out now in about three weeks for this year and next year's election. He would not be eligible for There has to be a six-month period uh, upon a, a person's death. So he would be on the ballot for next year, and I do think he should be a first ballot Hall of Famer. And I, and I say that because we have to kind of redefine the total wins as we measure what a Hall of Famer is. He has 203 wins. Now, 20 or 30 years ago, you might not say that was a lot, but in today's game, that is a lot. And again, for a period for me of more than a decade, Roy Halsey was the best that there was at the craft of pitching. And I think that alone puts him into the Hall of Fame. And again, the fact that he was so durable – um, completed so many games, threw so many shutouts, the winning percentage in his prime almost at 70%. That's a Hall of Famer in my book. And, yes, it will be quite an emotional event um, when Roy does go in the Hall of Fame, and I do think it should be next year.